my favourite piece of music. Um, <laughs> Beethoven, um, which is uh, Beethoven's Piano Concerto Number Three, the first movement particularly. That's very good, very good, it's very cheerful. Sorry about that. <laughs> Where did I get my interest in trains? I don't know, it's always been there. When I was very small, about, so I don't know, about three or four, I suppose. When my mother used to go shopping with me in a pram, uh, just over the road from the shops, there was a gap in the sort of fence where the railway was. And I used to apparently pick up a stick to see all steam trains, of course, to see the trains go by. I don't know, I just sort of developed, really. Uh, I was interested, well, I was still at school. And um, when I went to, um, from sort of junior school to grammar school at 11, um, I was with, uh, met some other boys who were also interested in trains, and um, one of them is still alive now, and he's, he's 19, he lives in Wolverhampton. Uh, it, it just sort of developed, and then when I was in the army, I, was in, I met um, Tony, and also another chap here, both of them, of course, Toby's alive, and Jim, and another chap called Jim Bassman, that we got friendly just because we were all interested in railways. No, that's all, it just did. I don't know, this, I can't pin my, put my finger on anything. Now, ships, interested ships, a little bit as far as that is concerned, uh, we did, my mother, had a sister who was married to a um, sailor, someone in the uh, merchant navy, um, and um, so sort of, I suppose there was an interest because of that. He was he worked for a company called Shore Saddle, and he went to out, out to Australia and New Zealand. And so I was interested in ships, but then again, of course, it was all in the public eye because the Queen Mary was being built. Then and um, my mother's sister, Auntie Eva, uh, she worked for a company that um, did a lot of the internal furnishings for the uh, for the Queen Mary when it was built. So yes, so interested in ships as well. And uh, buses. I've always been interested in buses, even as a as a, as a young boy. But not at least bit interested in aeroplanes. None at all. <laughs> Where's sort of your obsession with collecting uh, come about from? Like, the desire to not throw anything away. <laughs> not throwing anything away. I don't know, really. Uh, it's... Mm. I can't explain that. I suppose it's... Um, I don't know. Nobody's ever asked me that before. Uh, History, I suppose, and um, substantiating history. Yeah, I can't really explain it, but uh, yeah, not throwing anything away. Uh, collecting diecast models that all is associated, of course, with. Um, uh, I was interested in dinky toys before the war, the car though. I had all the trains, model trains, model trains, model cars. Um, I mean, every little boy had models. We tried to get you on it, but you were a dead loss. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, I suppose it all stems from that, really. From railways to finding out more, for books about railways, finding out more about them. That's all I can put it down to. Nothing I can actually put my finger on.